Bahamas, two candidates for the Teacher in Space program are still up in the air with their excitement. Both were back in the classrooms today, but as Roy Wood reports, their thoughts were out of this world. Pamela Grayson and Sophia Clifford still can't believe they have a shot at riding the space shuttle into orbit. Grayson, a biology teacher at Minor High School, is excited about the possibility of riding the shuttle, but says her real love is the classroom. I enjoy teaching, and the reason that I'm a teacher is because I like to learn, and I want my students to know that learning is something you can do all of your life. You don't just go to high school and learn your six subjects and then graduate and never learn again. High school and college are really the preparation for the rest of your life and for the learning that will go on. I hope that my having gone through this experience will encourage my students to see learning that way and to, to view their life that way. Much of the day was spent explaining to students some of the tests she went through during a grueling weekend at the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville. Sophia Clifford, the second nominee, is a 19-year teaching veteran. A chemistry instructor at E.B. Irwin High School, she'd like to go to conduct experiments on producing pharmaceuticals. The project that I proposed was purification and separation techniques in a weightless environment. And many chemicals that are manufactured and used as pharmaceuticals are uh, not useful because of the impurities that are present. Both candidates still have to pass a physical examination and answer a series of questions from NASA. Once those hurdles have been cleared, they'll be a step closer to a dream come true. Roy Wood, Channel 13 News. I want to do that. Do you? I want to do that. Oh, I do too, but they oh, didn't well, select me. No, probably never will never either. Never will either. Boy, I'd like to. I got out in the sun yesterday. I don't know if you could tell. We, we can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Went to the uh, Hoover uh, library opening. You know, they had a new library, and they had the uh, Alabama Symphony Orchestra out there, and boy, did you miss one heck of a concert. They were Is that what good. kept me awake yesterday afternoon? No, they weren't there. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> there were, I don't know, a couple thousand people in that parking lot, and it was really good. But that was sun beautiful was, yesterday. The sun was beating down on me and some other folks there, too. Anyway, uh, the sun today was great. Tomorrow, first part of the day, we'll have some sun, and then our chances for some thunderstorms will increase, and we'll talk about that coming up in just a second.